Alrighty, guys, so yes. We are going to be capturing Ralts now because, well, we kind of need them. And uh, yes, I decided to go ahead and capture myself a female Ralts because remember, we're in the sixth generation right here, and uh, there is a bit of a split. Uh, split difference between the Raltzes, okay? So here it is guys throwing out that peace sign got him with an ultra ball We got ourselves a female Raltz now In the sixth generation or going beyond you know fourth the fourth generation if you evolve a male Raltz with a I want to say with a specific stone a specific stone. I can't remember what it was called. I think it was a shiny stone Dawn stone probably it will evolve into a Gallade Female Ralts, you evolve it at level 30, it's going to be a uh, Guard Devourer, and that's exactly what we need. The other thing, too, Ralts, yeah, Psychic and Fairy-type Pokemon, you cannot beat that. So, here it is, guys, Ralts has the ability to sense the emotions of people. It is, tra or it, if its trainer is, is in a cheerful mood, this Pokemon grows cheerful and joyous in the same way. Okay, so, you guys already know, we're going to be nicknaming this Pokemon... It's a uh, original name, yes. Everybody say hello to Gaia, the Fierce Knight. That's right, from Yu-Gi-Oh and all that stuff. So let's go right ahead and press that button. Incorporate it to our team, and I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys. So here we are in Rustboro City, and well, we captured ourselves our good old buddy Gaia. Now we didn't do any kind of battling or anything like that. We actually put Tommy back in the PC while we went to capture Gaia because, well, Tommy JDF right here. Take a look at this. Has 55 points in order to evolve. So we're gonna do this on screen and all that crud. So let's go right ahead and continue on our adventure. Now I just realized something. Hmm. Yes. Let's go right ahead and take a look at Gaia the Fierce Knight right here. As you guys can see, both Psychic and Fairy-type Pokemon. And, uh, well, it only has Growl. Not a very good move set right now. But eventually, it will learn some pretty darn good moves. As many of you guys already know, Female Ralts, uh, Gaia the Fierce Knight, or basically um, Gardevoir is more of the f special attacker rather than the special or than the than the physical attacker. So I really don't mind that you know its attack is the downfall of its stats right here. So let's go right ahead and continue on our adventure. Now I completely forgot. What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven. And well, in our last episode. We won our first badge against Roxanne, and now it is time for us to see what is going on right here because, you know, Team Aqua's on the move again. And, oh, you there. You're the fantastic trainer who helped me up uh, in the Petalwood Woods. Help me. I was robbed by Team Aqua. I have to get the Devon parts back. If I don't, I'm going to be in serious trouble. Yeah, well, that's what happens. Okay, so here we are, guys, in Route 116. We're going to be doing a lot of battles. We might not be doing a capturing of Pokemon or anything. We're going to do that off-screen. And, uh, yeah, there is one thing. One thing that we did in the last episode, too. We grabbed ourselves the HMO1, which is cut. And now that we have that move, we can actually teach it to one of our, well, one of our Pokemon right here. Now, well, we're going to be giving it to good old Zigzagoon because, well, Z Zigzagoon doesn't have any kind of moves right now. It doesn't have any attacking moves, and I made the mistake of, like, maybe, you know, capturing a Pokemon that had straight or had a trick right here. So, we're gonna take away trick. Not much of a, not much of a move right here. And, bam, we got ourselves a Zigzagoon. Now, let's go right ahead and start battling some people. My Pokemon and I rule. Check us out. Okay. Alrighty. Here we go, taking on Youngster Joey. It's not like uh, every day we don't see Youngster Joey right here. And well, let's go right ahead and go with Tommy, the Green Ranger right here. Let's go right ahead and go straight for an Ember attack. Now, now that we won our first badge, there there is probably going to be a few things that I want to do. And look at this. We're at level 16 already. Yeah. Okay. And Ole grows to level 16. Wants to learn Fake Out. This is a this is a good this is a good move. And I want to take away Natural Gift for just right now because I, yeah I don't really like it. 
But anywho, here's Fake Out, and look at that. Gaia grows to level 4 and is finally learning Confusion. So here comes a Machop. I'm not going to risk Gaia right now. I kind of want to just, like, you know, kind of want it to, uh, to learn some moves, get up there in battles and all that stuff. So here we go. Oh, wow. Peck Attack does the trick, and here comes a Karate Chop. And that right there hits it, so let's go right ahead and do it one more time with a Peck Attack. And there you go. Mm-hmm. Okay. Alrighty. So there we go, getting some more points. And Zigzagoon finally grows to level 10, and Youngster Joey is not too happy. <laughs> Anywho, we've been waiting for this, guys. Tommy JDF is finally evolving, and is finally learning, or it's finally gaining an extra, what was it, a typing. Yes. Finally, we're going to fighting types. Alrighty, now this would have happened in the last episode, but, you know, we got Olay. And he helped us out a lot. So there you go, guys. We got ourselves Combuskin. Ready to go. Death Chicken himself. And Tommy JDF wants to learn Double Kick. So let's go right ahead and teach Double Kick to our new Pokemon. Let's go take away the Growl Attack. And there we go. Alrighty. Alrighty. Just learning that move. And, well, let's go right ahead and take a look at their newest Pokemon. We've got quite a few new Pokemon right here. Tommy JDF. Here we go. So, as you guys can see, Blaze, everything, stats are pretty good. And, yes, it has some good endurance. So now, it is finally time to, well, to continue our, our march right here. Now, the funny thing is, we actually did buy a few repels. We actually got five of them, so... We can actually, you know, we can actually start, you know, not getting attacked by these Pokemon off screen. Like I said, I will be capturing some of these guys. And we're going to grab this before we get attacked by another trainer. And look at this. We got ourselves another repel, which will actually work for us in the long run right here. And, well, he didn't really look at us. He's like, my bug Pokemon are tough. Let's battle. Okay. Alrighty, so here we go, taking on Bug Catcher Jose, and he's coming with his Wurmple right here. And, well, let's see what ends up happening. So, let's go right ahead and go for an Ember Attack. Don't want to go all physical with this Pokemon right here, so there it is. Ember Attack for the win. And just like that, we get another victory, and we'll get more experience points. Gaia grows to level 15, and here comes a Ninkata. Kind of want to use another Pokemon, but kind of feel like uh, right now, Tiny JDF is our is our only hope for right now. So let's go straight for an Ember attack, and just like that, Ninkata level seven defeated. Okay, alrighty, and well, here comes another Pokemon. So let's go right ahead. And switch it to Gaia the Fierce Knight right now. We wanna, yeah, we wanna make sure that this Pokemon right here, you know, actually uh, gets a little bit of battle under his belt right here. So here we go, taking on a Silcoon. Anyway, <laughs> yes, I got myself a shiny one. Evolved it. Now, if you guys are wondering where those Pokemon are at, or where that Pokemon's at, it is in the PC. Not really gonna be using it as much, but I am sure happy, glad that you know we got this Pokemon the way we did. If you, guys, if you guys want to know where I got this shiny Pokemon, it's two episodes ago. Got it on the very first try. And right now this Silcoon is, uh, well, it doesn't want, it doesn't want, it doesn't want to, want to, want to leave right now. And, well, look at that. Harden again. And there we go. Oh my god, confusion for the win. And just like that, we have defeated another Silcoon. And what do we got right here? Gaia grows to level 6, and it is learning Double Team, so this is fantastic. And just like that, we have defeated another trainer. We're feeling great about this. Okay, so, let's see, we've got to talk about a few things. Maybe just a little bit, a few things. So, some of you guys are wondering, how am I recording the 3DS? It's very simple, guys. I have a... I have one of them old school capture cards. If you guys don't know, back when the 3DS came out and people wanted to do like capture carding and all that stuff, you could you had to send your you had to send in your Nintendo 3DS. You had to mail it to some certain company. That way they could install it like uh, you know 
they can install something in order to what was it called to in order for you to actually capture or use the capture card right here onto your your computer and all that stuff nowadays these capture cards are really 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 hard to find because of course they're very very rare the company does not work anymore because of course you know 3ds's are out you know they're they're out of style right now making these uh making these uh, nintendo 3ds very rare if you guys don't remember during the pandemic i was having a little bit of an issue trying to record look at that level 10 trying to record most of my games especially in pokemon moon and i was looking everywhere like literally everywhere for this capture card and then one day during the an episode of i guess pokemon let's go pikachu if you guys remember right on screen i actually got myself oh holy crud i actually got myself the capture card i had the reaction and everything can't remember what it what episode it was but that's it was really like it was recorded during that one episode the amount of money i had to spend for this one 3ds it was like it was ridiculous but i got it if you guys don't remember when i was javen xc 711 i did buy myself a capture card same thing with the nintendo xl and this thing turned out to be the japanese version which really really like it really pissed me off because it was like seriously like are you freaking serious how in the heck did i not see it on the title yeah and they you know it messed it every it messed everything up those who were with me f from like way back when you guys probably already know what i'm talking about and well look at that level 17. okay alrighty. and here comes another geodude so let's go ahead and switch out our pokemon but yes guys i do i do remember all these memories and all that stuff and the capture card and i did say that i did have uh you know a capture card that is wireless and all that stuff i prefer the one with the with the wire mainly because there's no lag uh it doesn't depend on the internet when you're trying to actually get these whole things captured plus you don't need extra wiring to put in the volume or anything like that it, there's so many things that go go into this whole uh you know wireless capture card that you know what uh, i'm actually happy that i found this one right here so here we go super uh, effective if I were to want to sell this capture card to anybody, I'm going to have to actually, like, hike up the price. Mainly because it's so rare. There's, like, not so many of these things left. So, yeah. <laughs> Anywho, look at that. Our Pokemon are learning moves, learning everything, and there it is. Holy crud. Alrighty, so our Pokemon are gaining levels. We're doing our thing. And, uh, well, here's this individual right here. He's going to be like, grr, what's going on? I was digging the tunnel without any tools when some goon ordered me out. That's or that tunnel's filled with Pokemon that react badly to loud noises. They could cause an uproar. That's why we stopped using heavy equipment for tunneling. I'm worried that that goon will do something stupid and startle the Pokemon into an uproar. Hmm. I wonder who it could be. Now, before we go into the cave, let's go right ahead and battle some people right here. Now that we have cut, we can actually slice this open. Bam. Look at that. And, well, let's go right ahead and start battling everybody. We learn, we learn all sorts of things at the trainer school. I want to test things out for real. Now, what's another thing that I want to talk about? So, here we go. Take it on, Ralt. What was something that I want to talk about? Oh, yes. Uh, so, as many of you guys already know, I've already did Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Omega Ruby. I did it about... Well, I did it during the pandemic year. And that was about three years ago. And I completed Pokemon X as, as well. All the Pokemon that you've seen in previous walkthroughs and all that stuff, you will be seeing them right here. Um, I think... I think there's a, quite a few things that I, I want to do here, too. There's quite a few things that I want to do right here, too. Like, cat, like trade the Pokemon that... You trade the Pokemon that you can't actually get in this version of in Alpha Sapphire. And that is a Delcaddy. Or not a Delcaddy, a Skitty. But yes, yeah, so I kind of want to trade for those Pokemon first. And then eventually I want to trade for Pokemon that I bred. That way I can have the teams of, you know, the, the Pokemon teams that, you know, from previous games. Especially the right now. Like, you know, my Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough game emerald version 
All them Pokemon. So here we go, Ember Attack. And Shroomish, defeated. Okay, and well, let's see, here comes a Whismur. Yes, you guys will be seeing Whismur too, so that's another Pokemon that I'm eyeing. Probably in this episode too, so. Here we go, taking on a Whismur. Say hello to my double kick attack right here, Tommy JDF. Kick a butt, taking names. There you go. Alrighty. Okay, alright, and there we go. Oh my god. Ole grows to level 17. And Gaia grows to level 8, so we're, we're, we're doing some pretty good stuff right here. Okay. Let's see. What else do we need to grab? Okay, so let's go ahead and slice this open. There is a Pokeball, and there are two trees right there that we can actually grab. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and grab these things. Okay, so here we go, Chesto Berry, and just like that, we got ourselves some more Chesto Berries. Grab these little suckers, and there we go, Chesto Berry for the win. And we're gonna grab this in Ether. Okay. Alrighty, so let's see. Let's go ahead and continue on our adventure right here. And that was a rare Pokemon, and I completely forgot about putting on a repel. And this is a very good location for you guys to find in Caddis. Like I said, guys, off screen, I will be capturing some of these Pokemon. Um, I'm doing five, five per week and all that stuff, so depending when I drop these episodes, yeah, we'll, we'll have a nice uh, amount of episodes right here. Now, let's see. There, Okay, so there's some holes right here, as many of you guys already know. Secret bases. And we're going to grab this item. We found ourselves an X special attack. And, well, let's go right ahead and see what this old man's talking about. Let's see. Oh, what am I to do? We were just out on our walk, Pico and I, when I, we were attacked by another thug. And then this scoundrel made off with my darling Pico. Where are you, Pico? Where are you? Hmm. Okay, so here we are in the Rust Turf Cave. Named after Rustboro and Verdant Turf. It's a mixture of both. And we're going to be putting on a repel because, yeah, we don't want to get attacked by any Pokemon around here. Now, first thing is first, let's grab this. We found ourselves a Pokeball. And let's go right ahead and see what this is all about. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. I want to use Gaia, but yeah, I already know what kind of Pokemon he has. So he's looking at us like, what? Are you coming? Come and get then. Or come and get some then. All right. Grrr, you hole it all. This horse's Pokemon turned out to be worthless. And to think I made a getaway into this uh, tunnel to nowhere. And uh, and you. Now you're battling. Uh, you're here to battle me? Really? Yes. Here to battle you. Ready to go. Okay, so here we go. Another battle against another Team Marco member, or the same one. And here he is with his Poochiana. Okay, so let's go right ahead and just beat this Pokemon real quick. Let's go with a Dublick Kick. And there we go, there's one, and that's the way it is. We win. Throwing out the peace sign. That's right. That's how you do it. Alrighty, he's like, ugh. Is this the end of my evil deeds? Yes, it is. Yes, yes, it is. So, as you guys can see, this is playing not right. The boss told me that this would be a slick and easy job to pull. All I had to do to steal so was to steal some uh, parts from Devon. <laughs> you want them back badly? Then take them. And there it is. We got ourselves the Devon parts, and well, he's leaving. And of course, Pico right here, the Wingle, is looking, and he's gonna be like, "Pico, I'm glad to see you are safe." My Pico owes her life and freedom to you, lad. They call me Mr. Briny, and you are? Ah, so you so it's Draven, is it now? Then I sincerely thank you, Draven. If there's ever a thing I could do to help you in a, a, in turn, don't hesitate to tell me. If I'm uh, to be found, it will always be my cottage. Uh, it will always be at my cottage near the uh, near the Petalburg Woods. Come on, Pico. High time we're under way to home. Alrighty, okay. He really loves that Pokemon. Now, there is a little bit of something that you guys need to know. There are some boulders right here that you can break. Unfortunately, we can't break them yet because we don't have Rock Smash. But I guess we have completed our little adventure right here. So, let's see. 
What I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward straight to the Devon search researcher guy. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here we are, guys, and we're looking for that Devon researcher. He is here somewhere. Oh, there he is. He's waiting for us, and he's going to be like, Oh, how did it go? Did you get my Devon parts? You did. You got him back. You really are a great trainer. I know. As my thanks, I'll give you a great ball. And there we go, we get ourselves another great ball, even though we can actually buy him now. And he's gonna be like, oh yes, young man, please come with me. Okay, and this is the Devon Corporation waiting for us. And... Well, we're gonna be going up to the very top floor, and we're gonna be meeting the president of the Devon Corporation. And this guy is going to be like, this is the top floor of the Devon Corporation. Our president's office is on this floor. I can't tell you how grateful I am for what you've done for our company. Could you wait here for just a moment? We're waiting and waiting and waiting. And well, he's like, our president would like to have a word with you. Please come with me. Okay, so we're going to be walking towards this homeboy right here and seeing what is going on. And he's like, please go ahead. Now... Here is the president of the Devon Corporation. His name is Mr. Stone, the president. I just heard how, or I just heard now how we have to quite a bit to thank you for. So you helped out my staff not just once, but twice. There's a favor I'd like to ask uh, of a reliable trainer like you. Now, I want you to know I'm a president and you can trust that you can trust. I'd never be so mean to ask uh, a favor for nothing in return. Here, give me your Pokenab Plus for a moment. And there it is. We have updated our Pokenav Plus. And the function that I just added to your Pokenav Plus is called the Buzznab. It is an indis 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 indispensable tool for any trainer who is traveling out in the world. Use it and you'll be able to get the latest news from around the region and from your own friends anytime, any place. Now, let me get to the important issue of, the, of what it is that I need to, from you. I ask you... I want to ask you to deliver this letter to a man named Steven. You should find him in Duford. And there it is. We get ourselves a letter. Pretty cool. Awesome. And what else is next? You have to cross the sea to reach Duford, of course. Well, that's Mr. Briney, the old sailor who lives in the hut at Route 104. Uh, to help you crossing, okay. And go find him, and you should agree to help you. I'm counting on you, young man. If you're ever unsure of what to do, just come and talk to me again. Okay, alrighty, so that's pretty much it right there, guys. We, we've we we've got a buzz nab. Now, the buzz nab right here will eventually, you know, will eventually show you some stuff, like, you know, street nav and all that stuff. And when it comes to different kinds of, like, secret bases, you'll be able to find them. And from there, just train up your Pokemon as many times as you can. The other thing, too... There is a bit of a... There are quite a few events that you can actually do. Like, you can actually grab yourself some special tickets to specific Pokemon through the Buzznab. I actually got that in Bo in Pokemon Omega Ruby. So, hopefully, I can do that right here. Because I think I, I, I got that same ticket. So, we'll, we'll see what happens. So, here it is. We're getting outside. And, well, hello, hello there. How you doing there, baby? Oh, hey, Draven. Have you been catching lots of Pokemon? I'm doing pretty good on, my, on, the, on that front, at least. I caught so many Pokemon in Petalburg Woods that I ran out of Pokeballs. Oh, yeah. And I passed Mr. Briny when I was in Petalburg Woods. Hmm. I guess he must have been on this uh, way on his way home to his cottage in Route 104. Draven, you just moved here, so there's no way you could you could know, but Mr. Briny was once a highly respected sir, a seafarer. Hmm. You don't say. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it right there. Hmm. Yeah, that is pretty much it. So, in the next episode, guys, we will be going through to Mr. Briny. We're going to be going straight to Duford. But in the meantime, we're going to be capturing some Pokemon. Maybe growing a few levels here and there. Getting some rare Pokemon and all that stuff. Trading. You know, that kind of thing. You know. We're going to be doing some stuff outside of battle, like outside of this whole thing right here. Filling up our Pokedexes and all that stuff. So, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient, as always. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. See you guys.